Hello, I'm Dean. I'm Jaoma. And today we're going to talk a little bit more in detail the new RP150. Yeah, probably the first thing that you will notice about this uh, new controller is the big display. This is a 7-inch touch display where you can access all the menus in the cameras. And it's also uh, multi-purpose because not only is it a touch display, but you can also, with a new SDI input, actually see a feed from a camera or from a vision mixer as well. So the operator, for the first time, with a control panel, can see what they're doing as well. Yeah, and also you will see a big joystick with uh, three axes. So you have pan, you have tilt, and you have zoom or focus. And the panel is PoE Plus enabled, and that still means we can run it up to 100 meters. Yeah. So this panel compares to the RP120. In that sense, there are a lot of functions that remain the same. So control of the colorimetry with direct controls of gain, pedestal, shutter, and so on. 10 buttons for camera selection, SD card to save settings and presets independent speed controls for every axis, and also tracing memories. So I think operators are going to be really happy that we've kept a lot of those core features in the RP120 and gone to the RP150. And there's a, a lot of new upgrades as well, like a new operator menu. They can see in real time information about positioning, uh, gain, shutter speed, which is all very important in the field. We also have the new group select menu, which you got there. So we have the blue buttons lit up to say I can change group and easily switch back out. The buttons physically light up with the tally now, so it's really easy to indicate which cameras are live and which ones aren't. We can control up to 200 cameras now, a big request from broadcasters working within reality shows, which I think is a nice upgrade. We also have the brand new 4K cropping feature, which is unique to the UE150 and the RP150 as well. And what I really like about this personally is that we have the monitor and we have the operator and they can actually see the cropping squares. And with the joystick, they can select between panning and tilting the camera or setting their crop markers. And that's where we can go from a 4K down to an HD crop inside. And it's really quick and easy to do, I think. And as you mentioned earlier, the, the presets have changed quite a bit. Yeah, all the presets and tracing memories are managed from the touch display. So now you have touch buttons, you can see 20 buttons or 50 buttons, and you can manage all of them from here. And you can recall groups of presets at the same time, which is a nice feature for also from this controller. So I think we've covered a lot of in-depth features about the new the UE150 and the RP150. I think there's a ton of different applications that these are going to go into, and I'm, I'm very excited in the 4K or HD markets and what people are actually going to do with the products. Yeah, so thank you very much, Dean. Thanks for watching and see you next time. See you next time. Thank you.